Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene, and Joe. We are going to do a fabric unboxing. Well, I'm going to do that. And Joe was in that video the last time, and he's going to be in the video this time too, a little at a time. And you'll see as he gets closer to this side. He's stacking fabric right now, which gives me a chance to talk to you guys about the fabric, and then we're going to be opening just a small box from Benertex. I have no clue what I ordered, but I hope that there's a box of fat quarters in there because I, I really need those. So, um, yeah, Joe is working on the rest of the Christmas prints that we have um, 114 different prints, and I already made and sold all the packs except for this last one. So I'm letting you guys know. Um, I can't even remember the price off the top of my head, but this one is on eBay. And now we're going to be doing, uh, we'll probably do another run of this size because I have them pre-cut almost all of them. But first, before that, I want to knock out my two inch squares, which I have all 114 prints cut into two inch strips. And I have to do the two inch squares out of that. But now we're doing this size, which is half of this. So they're five by four, and he's working on them right now. He's just did the greens, and uh, there's 114 in all. And you can see that. Um, you took the one I'm working on. <laughs> I took the one he's working on. I have cut most of the blues. I still have uh, oh, the red and blues. I still have blues to cut, and then the blacks, and then the tan, whatever. So those, it'll be a little bit before we have those up, because I have to take all the pictures. I have to finish cutting. He has to finish stacking. But there is one pack like this on eBay if you want to go grab that before um, we have the other stuff. All right, so um, going to do this unboxing, and I'm going to see where my scissors are. Let me get the box. Hang on. It came up. I noticed that Joe wasn't really in the picture, so we're fixing that. Um, Don't cut your fabric. I it will not. That's one of my fears. Is You've done it once. I have. I've probably done everything once. You've done it once. A while back you did. I've had it come to me cut. No, you cut it. No, no, it. no, but I'm saying I've actually had fabric sliced from, you know, the manufacturer opening their boxes and they make a nice slice in it. There's my favorite pattern it's going to go on top. Which one is your favorite? With that, can I show them? It's snow globes. He likes this one the best. And I think we have it in all the colors. I think it comes in the red and the blue maybe. Okay, I do see, I see there's not much to show you guys here, but I do see a box of fat quarters. And I think I ordered the miscellaneous ones, which is kind of fun, but it's very scary because I have no clue what I'm going to get in here. Now let me move the box down onto the floor. Yeah, I've, got, I've got my painted glasses that I showed you guys before that I painted seven years ago, I discovered by looking at the video. It was just for a video, and uh, it was from my Can I Blank This Shit series, and this was part of the Can I Paint This Shit. And people we would watch it and then complain about me swearing, and I was like, couldn't you tell? I have the word shit in the thumbnail. It's a pretty good hint. <gasps> Look, aren't they pretty? Yes, I'm on. I think they're pretty. So this is just a mix that I get. I'll show you guys this way first. Whoops. Maybe I can do it like that. Look at the nice colors. I'll show you some of the prints. And again, I don't get to know. And what I do with these fat quarters is a lot of times, if I can make little sets, maybe anywhere from three, I don't sell two fat quarters because the shipping costs more than <laughs> what I ask for them. Um, I'll, anywhere from 3 to 33. One of my sets, I think it might be still on eBay right now. It's 33 fat quarters. And um, so I'll make some smaller sets. And uh, if they don't sell, 
what I end up doing is I'll either cut them into scrap packs and Joe will stack, or I cut two inch strips and I make my two inch squares. I can cut five inch squares out of these. So they come in very handy. And what I like is I pay more, obviously, when I'm paying, you know, for fat quarters as opposed to yardage. But I don't have to invest a lot because I get a lot of prints this way, um, smaller pieces. So that's the, way, that's the way I do it. So let me just show you some of these. Got some greens like that and like that. <coughs> Some of these have a little bit of a metallic sheen, and I always disclose that. I even like that. That's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I guess I'll just show them all to you guys. Can't I do that? I can do that, right? This would be, um, this would be good in a Christmas quilt, even though... It's not really intended to be. That's my one fear, and I could call Benertex and say, in your mis miscellaneous boxes, do you ever include holiday stuff? I have gotten some Easter things. Oh, that I love. I love yeah, the colors. Cute. Yeah, I love the colors. Now, see, this could go with this in a set of, like, uh, you know, if I find more of that color, I like to put some together. So far, it's like I have two of each, but that varies also. That's cool. I like that. Nice and funky. Yeah, no, I like that one. You like this one, the modeled one. And we got this. Bender Texas fabric is very stringy. They always have strings, and I've just learned to accept that. And you have to learn to accept that, too. Oh, nice little butterflies. That would be really cute in a kid's quilt, a little girl's quilt, or a little boy's quilt. If a little boy likes butterflies, we have to remember that there are no rules. Oh, see, I have an Easter. So maybe I'll do an Easter clearance since uh, it's past Easter. Oh, another one. But that's okay, and another one. Okay, so that makes a nice set for me to, to you know, do three clearance Easter fat quarters. Okay, I'm going to stop for a second so I can restack this. I see some things here that look very like 70s prints and colors, but I'm not sure. That's what this person is. That person. I know. They're nice. Okay, we got some like something to see. stuff like going like that and that and that. Here's another print that, you know, works well for Christmas with the red and gold. You don't have to buy Christmas prints for Christmas fabric. You can just go with the colors. I don't know, I have this, this. Oh, that's really nice for a Christmas quilt. That. I'm glad I bought them. That. See, this is like starting to look like you know, hippie stuff, Mary Tyler Moore kind of colors and orange. Remember when everybody had orange couches oh. <laughs> and rugs? Oh. I did. I, we did. We had shag rugs and they were hideous colors. These are, these are really good. I even like the Easter ones and somebody will buy them and they'll never use them. <laughs> I like this purple. Only oh, if you're chirping. Only oh, if you're chirping. I, I, I'm proud to say I've never tripped unless it was like falling down on the ground because I was drunk. Um, Joe has done some tripping in his day. But clean and sober, what? How many years? 27. 27. 24 for me this month. But just just us over. I didn't get clean because I wasn't dirty. <laughs> and these bicycle out oh, with a Christmas tree. Uh, that's, that's Christmas, yeah. Well, d definitely, I'll be able to sell anything Christmas because we're doing Christmas here, and that's it. Uh, let me put everything back in the box, and I'll be right back. Before I show you the rest of the stuff, um, yes, I want to tell you that 
I am still planning on doing two quilt blocks per month with Christmas prints. And there's not going to be any set plan. I just want to make blocks, different things. I guess if you wanted to put them together and you know, it could be like a sampler quilt, you know, different blocks. I will try to keep them the same size. So if you want to make all 12 blocks, I'm going to do two per month, April, May, June, July, August, September. So by October, all your blocks will be done. And you can put them together as you wish with or without sashing, and then it's just the blocks. You'll do the batting and the backing if you want. So my goal is to try to make them about the same size, and if they come out smaller, then we can always just add some fabric so that they can go together. I don't know. I don't know the, the you know, 100% what I'm going to be doing, the plan, but we're going to be doing that. And then I want to make at least one project per month, like a uh, stocking or ornaments, um, you know, fabric ornaments. And I have some other ideas like gift bags and gift boxes using the fabric. Anyway, so I wanted to tell you that. So stick around, subscribe, so you don't miss any of that stuff. But I also wanted to show you, now these are only in my exclusive sales right now. This pack just went in. But I'm going to show you a picture of that and this one. This one, I think it just moved to the flash sale. I start with my bulk sales and then flash sales and then it goes to eBay. Now these packs are 36 5 inch squares. They are, I'm going to tell you the prices, $9 in the bulk sale. Then it goes to $11 when it goes down to the flash sale. Bulk sale people pay $10 per month to get my fabric. Flash sale pay only $5 per month. So they have a little bit of a higher price and they don't get everything I offer because my bulk sale people sometimes buy everything before it gets to move down. Then after the flash sale, if there's any leftovers, it goes to eBay, and these will be $12.75 on eBay. So I just wanted to let you know that's how it kind of works. So I have a lot of these uh, Marshall Dry Goods prints in various color ways, and I've always been just selling them like that, like all pinks or all turquoise. And I thought, why don't I mix some up? So this pack was pink and gray, because I love pink and gray together. And I'm going to insert an image right here, right now. So that's what they look like, and you get two... There's nine pinks and nine grays, and you get... Are you confused because you didn't see me insert something? That comes in the editing. <laughs> There's nine pinks and nine grays, and you get two of each. So it makes a total of 36 squares, and you guys know I have a lot of little mini quilts that you can make using just 36 5-inch squares. So it's like all... it just all works together. So this one I loved. This one I fucking love. It is uh, turquoise, and I don't know if I, if I should say Caribbean or Caribbean. Caribbean. What is that song? Caribbean Queen. They don't say Caribbean Queen. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Caribbean. Um, I think I say it if I sing that song, but then I say Caribbean usually. Anyway, I'm going to insert the picture of this right now. Huh? Are they not beautiful? They're beautiful. So, uh, you know, if you want to become an exclusive shopper to get your grubby hands on these things while I still have them, because I don't think this is going to make it... To, this is not making it to eBay. I sold out. Somebody bought that last one, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell out of this one too. But I'm going to try to get more of these because I really liked them that much. So... Um, Info in the description box of this video if you want to become an exclusive shopper at either level and you get fabric. All right, let's get back to the unboxing. Looks like I bought a bunch of layer cakes. <laughs> I love it. I lately they call these layer cakes. They're 10 inch squares and it's just a name for fabric. The little squares like we, we make, even though it's not an official charm pack, 
Those mm-hmm. are called charms, five inch squares. Um, okay, I have one package like this, and I think it's because I see what I do is I already had this before, so I don't have to take the pictures again. When I get something that I want for two inch squares, uh, sometimes I will just list it because it's easy because I already have the pictures, and if it doesn't sell, then I'll cut it. Um, right. But Oh, that's not cut all the way through. So sorry. So sorry. Let's get that. Um, I don't want to mess you up. Just put it up somewhere. Yeah, and I do want to mention, I call these scrap packs, but you can see, they're pretty much all the same size. It's just that it allows me to be a little bit off because, you know, I, I'm trying to cut fast, and, like, this one wasn't fully cut all the way through, so I just did that. Um, but they're really good pieces, and you get a big variety without having to go buy a hundred different prints somewhere. Okay, so this is called Imagine, uh, no, Reflections. I thought I bought Imagine, I don't know. But I like them, so we'll see what I do with that. And then the layer cakes. I very seldom sell them as a layer cake. Again, I cut these into two-inch squares or um, bricks, mini bricks and stones. I, I have little quilt kits like that. You take two stones, which are two two-inch squares, and you sew those together, and then you sew them to a mini brick, which is three and a half by two, and you end up with a three and a half inch square. I want to do more kits of those. The ones that I have, um, I think are still in, I think I sold them. I don't know. There might be some on eBay. Go see my eBay the link to the eBay description. The description. The the link to the eBay store. My eBay store is in the description. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I like that. Do you? Yeah. I like blues. I oh, like you know why I like blue? Yeah, because of me. Because of what? My eyes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so here. Here's the um, patterns and the colors this is really good. Now, I, you know, if I turn all of this into two-inch squares, and I have three, because I can only buy three at a time. I can't buy less than that. So lots of cutting that's going to happen here. And I might uh, sell some as is. What's this? Bandana medley. And I that's like going to that. be it. Yeah. It's, but that's not the right picture. I like that. Oh, it's not just bandana. Okay, this is like the bandana print, but it's got some flowers. I gotta have my glasses. My glasses. That looks like snowman. Oh, it does, God. but it's flowers. So this is like one of the bandana prints, but it's got a bunch of stuff. And I try to find varieties like that because if I'm cutting them to two inch squares or whatever, it just gives such a nice variety. I, just, I like it so much. All right, you guys. God, I thought I wasn't recording. They know how scared I get when I, when I think I'm not recording. Well, you ought to live with her. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, and then I can't even believe you. I, I'm not saying you want to live with me, but you, but you do. You tolerate me. I love you too. All right, you guys. This was fun. I hope you guys like. Um, it's like the 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 unboxing chat show or something, and you know it keeps Joe st uh, stacking the stuff. So I'm very anxious for us to have this size um, available. And again, that will go to my exclusive shoppers first. And there are only going to be eight bundles at, at all, you know, in all, eight sets, I should say. So uh, they might not make it to eBay. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. So y'all please come by. Yes, please come by. Bye. Please the more y'all buy, the, the quicker you'll see me sew. <laughs> yes. He's going to sew. He wants me to show him how to sew. So that's a deal. You buy something and he'll sew for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.